en di mademoiselle en sa se dezyem chanel we en jodia nou al fe yon lot video click crack where you guys send me your paranormal haitian voodoo african whatever type of stories and we read them here on this channel if you guys have your own stories that you would like to share send them to the crick crack email that is k-r-i-k k-r-a-k-c-o-z at gmail.com it is right here on the screen please make sure you do not send them to my dm or my professional email or they will be deleted okay please 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 follow the instructions all right so this one's gonna be interesting and it's going to be someone's first experience with hell all right um and it also has to do with fertility um i've been thinking about doing a video about fertility and things like that but i feel like that would take a while um spirituality and fertility because there's a lot of people that can't have kids and then you know they they pray to the loa or orishas and things like that to, to have a kid and then they end up having a kid and there's a lot that goes into it um but i feel like this is gonna take too damn long there's so much involved in that but i mean comment down below if you guys want to uh have a video about that but it's just that rabbit holes a lot okay so without further ado let's hop into it but i do want to hear your comments down below were you of course a rainbow baby did your parents have problems conceiving you and then did they go pray about it or did they go through other means like voodoo or anything to conceive you how did that go i'd love to hear the story because there's so many people that were conceived through voodoo and things like that and it's just a very phenomenal you know thing to explore so let's get into the story hi ivana uh you spelled my name wrong and my name's like always in the description box so let me just let y'all know it's y-v-a-n-a -A. thank you this annoys me when people spell my name incorrectly but it's okay y'all hi ivana i hope i sent this to the right email yes you did thank you for following instructions so before i was born my mom didn't know she was pregnant with me and the way she found out she was having me was because this lady came up to her in a little haiti supermarket oh we're in we're in florida my mom was at the cash register to pay for the market she was buying and this lady came up to my mom and touched my mom's stomach i would have punched her in the fucking face i don't understand why people think it's okay to touch pregnant people or touch people at all like personal space bitch like oh like you can just go around touching people like oh my god oh jesus christ then the lady laughed saying weird stuff like wow there is something very interesting in your belly this is why god doesn't let certain things happen to me because god knows i would catch a charge because what do you mean something interesting at least if you're gonna do something like that be like oh are you expecting oh i sense a baby in your belly like i don't know but like something interesting what's interesting is that i didn't punch you in the face yet like bitch the fuck is you talking about then ran and transformed into wait then ran and transformed into a lugawu and flew outside of the supermarket in broad daylight for everyone to see. Rete, rete, rete. Nigga, what? Yo, this is Little Haiti, so I'm not even shocked. Little Haiti is Haiti, bruh. Little Haiti in Florida is fucking Haiti, bro. Whoa, I did not expect that. I did not expect that. Nigga, what? I guarantee you, like, she probably fucked around and followed her home until you were fucking born just to try to eat you. You guys are not watched. My Lugawu video, you guys have to watch it. It's going to be linked down below. So essentially, a Lugawu is a creature, okay, that essentially eats babies, okay? They they like to eat baby blood because it is the purest form, and they have to basically eat baby blood to survive. It, you have to watch the video. It's gonna take too long to explain what a Lugawu is, but they're very much so real, okay? This is not no fucking monster under the bed, barefoot, Loch Ness monster type shit. It's a real creature. Oh my god. Oh my god. Then my mom got scared, and she went went to the hospital and found out she was having me. My mom also said if that lady hadn't touched my mom's stomach, she would have went home and drunk wine without knowing she was pregnant. Well, apparently you could drink wine while you're pregnant. It's not advised, but some people do it anyway. Some doctors say it's okay, actually, but. Few months later, after she gave birth to me, I never cried. I was always up and never drank breast milk. What kind of baby? I mean, okay. My mom became very concerned and went and took me to the hospital for a checkup. She never told me what they found. Why would she tell you you're a baby? Unless you're like older and you're saying she never told you when you got older. So when I was 12 to 13, I had told my mom I was having this repetitive dream growing up. Oh no, the Luga would done fucked with your head. Well, let's be, let, let, first of all, I'm happy the Luga didn't come after you because that's what I thought she was about to say. The Luga was trying to steal me from my crib. Cause child, mm -mm, I've heard of that happening a lot. That I was going down the slide and it was dark, gray, and even 
even black. And I saw Mary crying, Jesus looking sad, Moses with his staff, and Poseidon with his triton. And when I get to the end of the slide, there was a symbol on a double door. I can't remember what it looks like now, but when the doors opened up, I saw hell. And I started crying in the dream. Then after I finished telling my mom, she immediately told me to pray. It was something I would never forget. If I'm not being mistaken, it sounds like you've been marked. And that isn't good. And your mom telling you to pray, she need to take you to an ogre or a mumbo because you've been marked by the lugao. And that is not good. That is not, that lugao was a bitch. So fun fact, I don't know why I never did a story time about this, but I might do a full story time. Long story short, I was a child, right? Um, I was probably like, I don't know, my parents said I was like two or three and I was in a supermarket with my parents and they said a lugao kept following them around the supermarket um, and she kept like giving me compliments like, oh, your baby's so cute oh my god like she's so beautiful because like my parents did this thing and it's funny because to this day i'm still this way like i get dressed everywhere i go like i'm usually very put together even when i'm dressed down i'm dressed up like even if you see me in sweats which is funny i only wear sweats now because i'm a dance teacher but like even in my sweats i'm still dressed up as fuck like I i'm still flea i'm still cute but it's like my parents like we'd go into the supermarket we're going to the laundry i still have a poofy little dress on i'm still like it's so funny because as a kid i used to be like all the time and people used to come up to me like oh my god you're so cute oh my god look at your dress and i used to be like thank you thank you like all the time so i was probably like two or three and i remember they said we were at the supermarket and they said and I, it's funny because i kind of do remember this lady and they said this lady was walking around like every aisle we went into they went into um everywhere we went they went and it was like come on now you guys i know some people walk into every single aisle but it's like my parents didn't go to every single aisle they only went into specific aisles and it was to the point where my dad turned around like wait me <laughs> like my dad turned around like can we help you and the lady's like oh it's just your daughter she's so cute you know and then she started speaking Creole because like I don't think my dad thought that she was Haitian because apparently she didn't look Haitian and I know people are gonna be like what does Haitian look like bitch we know our people when we see them so he was like so she started speaking Creole like oh pity too pity too bien belle blah 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 my dad was like the fuck you a Luga or something like because you've been following us for every single aisle that we walked up and down and I think she said something slick something along the lines of oh well if I was a Luga I would eat her said some shit like that my dad started wilding like cursing her the fuck out and i think my mom was like up the aisle it was like my dad was here and then like my mom was up there oh my god my dad washed this bitch like fuck you bitch da -da -da. <laughs> started going off on the fucking lady like started doing all this goofy shit but some way somehow the lady had like touched me something in the process and apparently i passed out it was this whole thing nonetheless long story short like i might do a full-time story time on this i forgot all about that story I, it just came to me i had to like be brought to haiti um <laughs> to, to walk Wash whatever mark it was on me, okay? Any buckles, mumbos, ogons that are watching this, please comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. Lugawus can mark you, especially if you're a child, okay? It especially happens to children. They can mark you. They can put malicious things on you in order to kind of fuck up your life, come back and eat you, or just essentially make it so that you're susceptible to become a lugawu or um, what's that thing called? A baka or some shit later on in life. So you gotta be very careful with that. Your mom talked about and pray pray ain't gonna help you bitch i'm telling you right now pray is not gonna help you you gonna have to do some shit okay because now like she she done fucked your life up uh i would hope the dreams went away by now but yeah haitian spirituality is some shit okay it's no joke it's no joke it is not a game it is not a motherfucking game like you gotta be very careful with that type of shit um lugawus are really really fucking malicious and sadly um that's how they got that way they got that way by being malicious people it's basically basically their curse and their cross to bear and because it's their curse and their cross to bear that's why they're such shitty ass people um and they don't know how to act because their whole logic is well you know i'm this way i was made to be this way because of my malicious deeds so i ain't got shit to lose so they just go around doing malicious and ancient shit to people um because they're like you know what fuck it i fuck it i'm not gonna end up getting my life back so i'm just gonna fuck other people's life up so you gotta be very very careful with these types of things and you have to go through the proper channels to get certain things lifted reversed whatever the case may be i really hope that you're okay now i really hope those dreams have stopped and i really hope that there's nothing going on with you because that is not normal you're not drinking breast milk and shit like that that yeah she was trying to kill your ass so that she could come sweep you up and eat you she was hoping that you did not develop okay she was like that that's exactly what that is so i really hope
know that everything's fine now, you know, to be honest. But if any of that has happened to any of you guys, be very weary of that type of shit. With that being said, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, do all that. Like I said, please check out the Lugawa video. It will be linked down below just in case I do forget. Just type in Chronicles of Azo. Lugawa, L-O-U-G-A-W-O-U. -O -O you should be able to find it. And yeah, make sure you guys check out my other two channels. Again, always linked down below. Join the Patreon and I'm going to see y'all next time. Bye!